All right, so, oh, good. So Rocky's here on his knees. I'm playing butterfly, okay? Again, probably gonna be out here, right? I gotta butt scoot in, all right, to get close. I wanna have the inside space. I wanna have the good head position. I don't want him in here, because he'll flatten me out and then do the pass we worked on this morning. So we're gonna do something from a body lock. So for the body lock, really good for elevating your opponent, elevation, when you have the butterflies. Not the best sweeping position, but it leads into other positions that are good sweeping positions, right? So we come in here, we either get double underhooks or we get the body lock. Because we don't need a ton of um, torque here and we just want to establish a connection, an S grip here is okay. Not the strongest grip, but it's the easiest to get because it makes the longest hoop with your hands. If you can get here, it's tighter, but not necessary because I just need to rock him up onto me, right? So we're going to get here. I'm going to make sure my butt's nice and close. And I'm going to use this to rock him up into the air. Okay, then I want to get underhook on one side and push him away. He'll usually put his feet down, all right, because he feels what's happening. So I'm going to push him away towards one direction and underhook on the side opposite of the pushing away side. So I'm going to have one butterfly hook. I'm pushing with my leg and my hands, and I underhooked on this side. That straightens this leg out, and then I bring in my other leg here, okay? So now I've got my X guard. Usually people, they'll have their hands forward like this. They'll try to stand up because they don't like this. And then I do my basic X guard sweep. So that was foot on the hip, pushing backwards. This foot that was behind the knee, I dropped to the ankle and kicked it out. Okay, And that made him fall. And then we can come up controlling the legs so that we could do our pass, whatever pass we want to do. Okay. Again. So we come in, we make an S grip. We elevate, right? We underhook one side. We get to here as soon as he stands up, whoop, controlling the legs, whatever pass opens up for us. <clears throat> so I'll slow down the X guard portion for you guys. All right, so we get up here, oh, I underhook one side. Using my leg and my hand, I push him away to, to pivot myself and him, really. And then look, my inside leg, the one towards his butt, is the inside knee and the top hook. My bottom leg, the one towards his head, is the bottom hook, okay? We want to go from here, right? This is a real good control position. I can off bounce him. As soon as he stands up, I come down here and I want to extend. Whoop. I'm just pushing it forward, trying to kick my leg out. That takes his base away, okay? And then you want to try to keep his legs elevated and then come up into whatever pass he gives you, double under, knee cut, right? mission control or, or whatever, right? <clears throat> Headquarters, I meant uh, mission control. Okay. One more time, or do you want to see it? Well, let me, yeah. let me do one more with you. Okay, so we have the S grip. We up, underhook, look, pushing. Whoop. This leg comes out to end. Now we're here. I wait till he stands back up, time it. Whoa. Okay, if you try to do it while he's leaning forward, it's not gonna work. You gotta do it while he's standing up trying to get his balance back. Okay? You wanna see it once? Uh, sure. Yeah. Sure. <clears throat> Charles is flexible enough for this. Okay, so we come in, make our grip, elevate, underhook, push away, bring our outside leg in, he goes to stand up, and we sweep. Okay, and then we come into whatever pass he presents us. Cool? All right, let's run it. One, two, three.